Hey everyone, in this video I'm showing which techniques I use to draw from a reference photo. If you want to create a likeness in your drawing, it's important to have the correct proportions before you start the shading. To make it easier for myself to get the correct proportions, I start by drawing some guidelines on my reference photo. The lines from the chin to the nose, from the nose to the eyebrows and the eyebrows to the hairline are three equal spaces. Those are the lines I always start with. In some portraits these basic proportions can be different because everyone has their own unique features and proportions, so you will need to check that in the reference photo you will be drawing. Once I have the guidelines, I draw them onto my drawing paper and then I start drawing the facial features by looking back and forth. I always start with the eyes and then go from there. In this portrait, you see that the distance between her eyebrows and nose is a bit longer. So you will need to recreate that the same in your drawing as well. I also usually draw guidelines on the corners of the eyes and normally the eyes and the space in between are also three equal spaces but that can differ as well. If you're drawing a person from an angle you will also have different proportions so it's important to study your reference photo before you start and understand what you're drawing. If you don't have an iPad like I am using, you can also print out the reference photo and draw the guidelines with your pencil. It's easier if you make sure that your reference photo is the same size as your drawing paper. Because you have these guidelines, you will be able to draw the sketch easier and get accurate proportions. You can measure whenever you need to, and for this I just use my pencil to measure, but if you want to be more accurate you can also use a ruler. You want to make sure that your guidelines are light enough to erase later on. I'm using an HB pencil for the sketch. You also want to make sure that your tip isn't too sharp and that you're using light pressure when you're drawing the guidelines and your sketch because you might accidentally indent the paper if you press too hard on your pencil. If that happens and you erase the guidelines, they will show up once you start the shading. And that's not what you want, so always use light pressure. Take your time while sketching and try not to be too hard on yourself especially if you're a beginner. Learning how to draw is a journey and takes time. Practicing, making mistakes, ups and downs are all part of the journey. As long as you keep on going, you will be able to improve yourself. Because with every drawing you create, you will learn something new. Also remember that you're not using the reference photo to copy it 100% the same. I say this more often, but you're really not a copy machine. So try to enjoy yourself and practice this technique as much as you can until you get the hang of it. So once you're happy with your sketch, you can erase the guidelines and start the shading. The real-time version of this tutorial is available in the membership. In the real-time drawing videos, you can follow my entire drawing process. While drawing, I think out loud, explain my techniques and show you how to fix mistakes when they happen. Also the reference photos and my sketch outlines are all available to download. In every lesson I will show you how to draw the sketch step by step so you can learn to create your own drawings. For this portrait drawing I'm using Faber-Castell graphite pencils. Those are my favorite and I also use a black colored pencil for the darkest values where the graphite isn't dark enough. 
You can find the full material list under the video with all of the materials I use for my graphite pencil drawings. When I start shading, I always start with the eyes and I build up the layers gradually, starting with the 4B, then the 6B, then the 8B, and at last the black colored pencil for the darkest shadows in the face. You also want to make sure you're shading your layers with light pressure because if you use hard pressure right away, you won't be able to layer over it or erase for the highlights. So you will build up the layers gradually using light pressure. If you start by shading with the 4B graphite pencil with light pressure and the value in your drawing isn't dark enough you will move on to a darker graphite pencil like the 6B using light pressure. And if it's still not dark enough, you will use the 8B or black pencil with light pressure. Only if you're shading your last layer, you can use medium to hard pressure because you won't be able to erase over it that easy. So you want to make sure that you don't need to correct anymore. After moving on to the next eye, I still go back sometimes to add final details or to correct if I need to. I always finish the eyes first and then I move on to the rest. The eyes aren't completely finished, but it's best to move on to the rest of the face so you can compare values in your drawing easily. When you're drawing the eyes, they might look like they have the correct value, but once you have shaded the other facial features and the rest of the face, I often see that they need to be darker. So that's why I eventually move on to draw the rest. Also when you're drawing the eyes or the nose for example, you keep on focusing on that one part. So you might not feel satisfied with how it looks now, or you see that something is not right, but not sure exactly what. So when that happens, it's always best to move on, because if you keep on focusing on one area, it's difficult to see what's wrong. After you've moved on, you can look back with fresh eyes. The most important part to remember is not to give up on your drawing. There are different stages you have to go through and there are always some parts or some moments that you're not satisfied or you feel like it isn't going to turn out that good. We all have these feelings, you're not the only one. So when you feel like this, just take a break and continue another time. Whatever you do, don't give up. Because if you don't keep on going, you will never be able to learn from your mistakes and be able to improve. You will keep on making the same mistakes and keep on giving up on your drawings. If you push through and keep on going, you will learn what not to do next time if something went wrong, or maybe you can still fix and correct it. With every drawing you create, you will learn something new, so just keep on going. Whenever I take a break, I take a picture of my drawing, I look at it on my phone, tablet or computer, next to the reference photo, 
That way I can easily look back and forth and see if something is off. I look at the proportions, I look at the values to see if the shadows are dark enough or the highlights light enough. If I need to correct or add something, I do that. And if you have built up your layers with light pressure, you will be able to correct if you need to. The highlights and shadows is what will make your drawing look round and 3D. So make sure you have the correct values if you want your drawing to look realistic. Now I'm adding the final details to the portrait and it's finished. I really hope you were able to learn something. If you have any questions just leave a comment under the video and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like. Also don't forget to subscribe if you're new so you won't miss the next videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.